What is going on guys welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today I am back with another Destiny 2 news video and today we have a little to cover including the Borealis and Xbox and how we will be able to get it basically straight away with no hassle of the dead ghosts returning and planning for the weapon changes with a little more but hey before we get into that guys if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps us also subscribe to the channel for daily destiny videos and stay tuned until the end of the video to find out how you can win my monthly controller giveaway okay so firstly guys dead ghosts will return now dead ghosts were a major part of destiny 1's hunt and collect system offering so much in terms of in-game lore and much much more now an article by game that talks about the return of dead ghosts the post can be found linked within the video description it states and i quote earlier this year the video game developer bungie teased the possibility of dead ghosts making a return at some point in the science fiction shooter sequel destiny 2 as the second entry is director christopher for Barrett mentioned intentions to bring back collectibles. Now though, Bungie have decided to explicitly state that dead ghosts are going to be included in the action RPG's highly anticipated expansion known as Forsaken. This much was confirmed by Destiny 2's Forsaken project lead Scott Taylor, who detailed how Bungie will be tying the game's lore into the forthcoming DLC, with Taylor stating that it feels akin to opening up a little book and reading the stories. The Forsaken project lead went on to say, there are short stories and long stories that you discover in the world and then open up in the game that you can go and collect by killing bosses, finding items in the world like dead ghosts and little drones that tell stories that are either one pass or maybe three. So it seems as though they are returning along with other things people. Now collectibles for me, although they didn't seem like much, they are in terms of things to do. Destiny as a whole can get pretty stale. From D1 to D2, Destiny 2 felt stripped bare and it's because small things like collecting random fragments were taken away. These small things truly add up. They make a game like Destiny and I'm glad to see that they are finally making a return a whole year later. Now these dead ghosts could be found in strikes, in raids, on planets, absolutely everywhere, even in social spaces. They are things we enjoy looking for and to be honest I don't think I know one person who has told me that they don't miss them. I mean this action RPG, this RPG, this massive looter shooter things like this are needed for damn sure and forsaken let's face it it looks like a massive expansion and if there's plenty of ghosts to find and many other collectibles to find it will seem even bigger you mark my words okay so we're going to move on and as you know people many weapons you have now will switch to kinetic weapons a few power weapons including hawthorne's field force shotgun the perfect paradox the alone as a guard sniper and a few more these will change slots along with many other weapons Bungie have not yet stated. Bungie did state when this update comes on August 28th the weapons that change slots will move from whatever slot they are in now into the slot they will change to. So let's say the power weapon the perfect paradox this will move into your kinetic slot. But people let's say you have a full inventory of kinetic weapons and energy weapons the power weapons that change through kinetic won't have space to move so they will go to your pulse master so what you need to do people here is make sure your pulse masters are clean of any loot as you don't want to be losing things currently we don't know exactly how many weapons are changing slots so if i were you i'd probably just keep them in your vault that's if you've got the space if you haven't got the space just make sure your pulse masters are empty because like i said you don't want to be losing things people so let's start from the beginning. Weapons are changing slots. Weapons you have in your inventory may change slots now. We don't know exactly how many are changing slots. So the best thing you can do is make sure your postmaster is clean. So it's got full space. If you can, make sure your inventories are basically empty. If your vault is strapped for space and your player is strapped for space, the best thing you can do guys is just make sure that postmaster is empty. I'm guessing weapons in your vault will change over in your vault and stay in your vault. But I know for damn sure weapons in your inventory, if there's no space for a power weapon to move to that kinetic slot, it will go to your pulse master. So just make sure you have plenty of space people as you don't want to be losing things. Okay, so we're going to move on and lastly people, I want to remind you guys, you Xbox and PC fellas out there, that the exclusive PlayStation Sniper Rifle, the Borealis, should be coming to Xbox and PC upon Forsaken's release. If it is exactly a year they had this contract, PlayStation and 
Bungie, this exclusivity, then it should come September 6th, because that's when I do believe Destiny 2 was released, two days after the Four Seconds release. Now, I was reminded of this info by Palamine Samon, so shout out to that sexy bastard. So yes, the Borealis is a sniper rifle I'm pretty sure we all know about. You are able to change its burn type anytime you want by holding that reload button. Now the thing is guys, this weapon will almost become instantly obtainable for us to get. If you missed the latest of this week at Bungie, the TWAB that came out last Thursday, they mentioned changes about Zer, seen on screen now. His will is not his own. He will no longer display a vendor icon on destination maps, meaning it will be like where's Wally trying to find him. He will no longer be tied to flashpoints, so it can be on any planet people. And with no icon on the map, I'm actually guessing he won't be in the same place, he'll probably change change places because it would be pretty pointless if he's in the same spots because I'm pretty sure we all know the exact spots he's on on current planets now so I'm pretty sure he will change places but either way he will not be tied to a flashpoint he has a clear purpose but cannot explain it forgive him fated engrams will grant only pre forsaken exotics so basically only year one exotics so most of us by now will have every exotic weapon in the game and every exotic arm piece in the game which would be available from Zer's loot pool this means as the fated engram will only give us year one exotics us xbox and pc players with all current exotics in the game should get the Borealis instantly. Now if you do have every exotic weapon in the game but not all armor pieces, if you are running a class of each type, a Warlock, Titan and Hunter, if you want to try your luck with a Borealis, obviously go to Xur and open that Fated Engram with the class you have most exotic armor pieces for obviously making your chances better in getting this exotic sniper rifle. So the Borealis should be available for us to get around the early days of the Forsaken's release. But that isn't the only thing that falls under this PS exclusive one year deal. Us PC and Xbox players should also be able to get the armour that was exclusive and also we should see the Lake of Shadows strike come over too. Now although no word on these coming to PC and Xbox has been mentioned by Bungie, it was clear the deal between PlayStation and Bungie was a one year deal when Destiny 2 was first released. Let's hope it stays that way and PlayStation don't flood them with money to extend it because at the end of the day people we don't like consoles with exclusive deals, I mean I know many many PlayStation players who would prefer there to be no exclusivity but as you know money talks, money talks for damn sure. So yeah guys look out for Zer if you don't have the Borealis by the time he comes which should be the weekend following the four seconds release about three or four days but on that note guys i am out but before we go if you did enjoy the video leaving a like really does help me out if you're new around here be sure to subscribe for them daily four second videos also guys every single month i am giving away a fully customizable controller for either xbox or playstation center anywhere in the world so it doesn't matter where you are to be with a chance of winning it simply drop a like on the video and make sure you're subscribed then follow the gleam link at the top of the video description it's fast simple and legit guys but on that note i am out thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully i will see you on that next one.